Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And finally, the Dow gave us the monthly trade triangle we've been waiting for. And it came close to the end of trading yesterday on Wednesday and came at 25,402.83, which is the number I've been giving you for seems like forever now, which pushed the chart analysis score to plus 90, indicating that overall the long-term trend has turned up for the Dow and gaining strength. And in fact, we're going to open up this chart here a little bit. And I've set it to a, a close only chart just to kind of make it easier to see. And the last time that we got a green monthly trade triangle change was back in December of 2016. And that was at 19,225.29. And as you can see, we had this long run up to the all time high that we set here at 26,616.71 before retreating and issuing a red monthly trade triangle on uh, the 2nd of April this year at 23,360.29. So in fact, you can see that once the monthly trade triangle triggers, it can be a powerful signal of a change of trend to head higher. However, we'll see if it follows through with the Dow Jones as it does have some work to do. And we'll kind of crunch this chart back down here and we'll put a one year. As you can see, we, we do have that high sitting here, but I'd like to see it get above this high right here of 25,732.80 kind of as a breakout level, which would break this tight trading range that we're trading in here and hopefully see it surpass that high if we get above that level. So one level to watch will be 25,732.80. We'll look for it to break out above that level. Our key level to watch for the Dow will be 25,518.43. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for the Dow. Moving along to the S&P 500, currently trading at 2,840.07, down about two tenths of a percent on the day. And matter of fact, we'll change this back to a candlestick chart. Currently with a chart analysis score of plus 100, indicating that overall the long-term trend is up for the S&P 500. Key level to watch from be 2,000. 768.51 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for the s p 500. take a look at the nasdaq currently down about nine tenths of a percent on the day coming under pressure from facebook which is down almost 20 percent on the day key level to watch will be 7,696.58, a move below a level would issue a red weekly trade triangle in indicating a move to a sidelines position. Currently, chart analysis score remains plus 90, indicating that overall the long-term trend is up for the NASDAQ. Dollar index seeing some strength today on the uh, deal with the EU to open up uh, trade and get some soybeans out of the country for our farmers here in the U.S. Currently, a chart analysis score plus 85, up about three tenths of a percent on the day. Key level to watch remains 93.44. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a sidelines position for the U.S. dollar. Crude oil. We'll put our trade triangles back in here. We got a green daily trade triangle at 69.31 indicating a move to a sidelines position for crude oil currently trading up on the day uh, about uh, eight tenths of a percent right now trading at 69.85 with a chart analysis score plus 75 key level to watch will be 67.56 a move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle indicating that a short position might be in order for crude oil have a ways to go before we'd see a green weekly trade triangle we need to be up above uh, the 72 dollar level before we'd see that so we've got a little bit of work to do in the crude oil market right there uh, gold currently down about five tenths of a percent on the trade trading at 1225.40 with a chart analysis score negative 85 indicating that overall the long-term trend is down for gold but coming under some re recent weakness on a daily level key level to watch would be 1218.10 a move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle indicating a move back to a short position for gold back this out Go to our Bitcoin portfolio. Take a look at Bitcoins, eking out a small gain on the day after reversing from some losses early on. However, chart now to score plus 70, indicating that overall we are in a sidelines position for 
Bitcoin at the moment. And our key level to watch would be 9,925.55. A move above that level would issue a green monthly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position for Bitcoin. Uh, that level will come down as we get into next month. So next week, I'll get you a new level to watch for Bitcoin. I promise we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at Facebook here. As you can see, currently down about 19% on the day. It's worst trading day ever. Completely fell off the map down here. It was traded at an all-time high yesterday of 218.62 uh, before the earnings came out after hours. And right here, we're trading down at 175.98.71, pushing that chart analysis score to negative 70, indicating that we should be in a sidelines position for Facebook. I'm sure it's caught quite a few people out at the moment. Uh, however, yeah, I do believe that this is just a bump in the road for Facebook and likely will be uh, coming in a rebound in the coming months because, let's be honest, Facebook and Instagram, and yes, they do own Instagram, have just become ingrained in our daily social lives for many of the people in the world, so I can't see that it'll be held down for long. And uh, if the FANG stocks have proven anything, they are tough to keep down for long. They tend to bounce back and bounce back big. So it'd be interesting to see where Facebook heads from here. With that, every success. Have a great trading day, and I'll be back next week.